Okay, so let's go over this. This is a Simply K. It's not going to fit all the way in my screen, but um, I can show you. Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to do the unboxing. I got my um, books in for the boys uh, this year, and I'm so excited to show them uh, with you. So if you saw my last homeschool video where I was doing the roundup of Easy Peasy and letting you know how the year went for me with the kids um, and you're kind of telling you about the curriculum, you will have heard me mention what I plan to do with the boys this year. This year I had planned to do The Good and the Beautiful and then I heard about Masterbooks and I quickly jumped on the Masterbook train after I'd already ordered my Good and the Beautiful. So um, I hope you have your tea or your coffee. I drink tea um, and let's get started. So, um, I am probably not going to do The Good and the Beautiful. I ordered the master books after Good and the Beautiful, and my order still has not shipped, and I've already received my master books. So I've emailed the customer service about canceling that order, and we'll see what ends up happening with that. So, first of all, we have the Simply K book. Um, my sister... Honor is also going to be doing um, master books with me with her kids because her kids are very similar ages. Um, our oldest are only four months apart, and then our second children are six weeks apart, and then I have a third child. It's a baby, so um, she got the same books that as I did, and then she was like, "Hey, why didn't we do the preschool one instead of simply K?" And I was like looking through it, a lot of the stuff that I did in Easy Peasy was stuff that they would cover in the preschool books. So I figured that we had covered that material. It's like shapes and colors and matching objects. And Gabe, you know, looking at it, I did a little test with him to see, you know, his comprehension level. I showed him a couple of the lessons and he was able to easily complete them. Also, as I mentioned in my Easy Peasy book, he knows most of the alphabet minus four letters. Um, so I wanted to get him something more advanced to keep up with his learning. So let's go over this. This is a Simply K. It's not going to fit all the way in my screen, but um, I can show you. We can flip through it. So my plan is to show you what it looks like a little bit. Here's your lessons. Um, and then I'm gonna do kind of a planning session in this video. So here's a quick start guide. I'm gonna move the rest of my books over. Okay. So in this course, you'll see, let's move this up a little bit. Um, it was created to be open and go, so you don't have to do any of the planning that I'm about to do. It's just, it has a scope and sequence, it has exactly what you'll be going through, due date. Um, all that and your letters so see even this he's going to be like oh this is review so this is actually more of what I'm going to be focusing on with Caius um, as we go throughout the year with the letter style stuff but I liked the life skills and the rhymes and the bible that it has in this that I'm going to do as a group thing with both of them but the letter stuff will be mainly focusing on that with um, Caius and then just kind of reiterating stuff to Gabriel so it combines the scope and sequence and schedule in the front um, summarize the lesson for each day, including four areas of focus, memory, verse, and more. So then you have the lesson prep page begins each lesson and makes it easy to see what is needed and what is being taught. It provides a weekly supply list, an objective sum summary, and the week's memory verse, extended activities you might wish to do. So you'll be starting each week um, on your lesson prep page. So at the end, you get um, this like diploma and mini book and reference charts. So I, I assume that will be in the back yeah, of this book here. So here's your ABCs, 
Here's the cards all cut out as flashcards of their mini books for each letter. So here you can see, find one that's all. Okay, so then you have N for notes and net. So you will, you'll just cut and fold it together. And then you have the nest, nose, needle, and nail. So that's the same for all those letters. Here you focus in each lesson. We have um, Bible time, uh, learning lessons from God's word and how we can live for him. Bible stories, character and memory verses used to lay a biblical foundation. And you have rhyme time, learning new vocabulary words, life skills, how to do important things, ABCs and more, alphabet and basic reading skills. So in the back of the book, you have the mini books as I was showing you. Um, there's a resource page for teachers, ABC chart and cards. And then um, you'll begin with the sounds after lesson 26 of the words. And then for when you're reading, it's kept in used color coding. Dark yellow are what the teacher says to the students, and the lighter yellow is just information and tips for you. Things to know. Um, you can skip steps. You can do things that are like extra, such as a recipe. It's just meant for creating love and learning for your child. To, um, because children at this age really learn through playing, so they're giving you a lot of tips and tools on how to help incorporate it with the play. Um, it's a tool and a guide. You're the teacher guiding your child. So you can choose what works for you and your child. And you don't want to spend, um, this is a huge thing. I find doing worksheets and stuff, Gabe has a really short um, attention span. So you just, you can do, it says 20 minutes, but Gabe can never last. Like depending on what it is, he doesn't last very long. It's like five or two minutes. Um, so as we already saw, this is the um, lesson plan that it comes with. There's 36 weeks. course supply list you'll need um, ABC chart book and basket bin tub Bible highlighter crayons glue stick scissors construction paper white cardstock watercolors play-doh colored pencils dry erase marker and sheet protectors and laminator so they also have videos that you can um, use that are very helpful for this there's also um, at this age there's alpha blocks on YouTube it's a great um, learning tool there's monster math or math monster I just saw someone mention on YouTube I haven't actually looked at it yet but we might be exploring that I loved um, Max the glow train has a great ABC and also counting and then some sun in Spanish um, I love him for boys you just search Max, Max the glow train and you'll, you'll see all the videos that they have for that one so then you have your, this is your prep page for the week one lesson one prep page so you have the weather chart you have white paper and you have a ball then your look ahead you'll be making thumbprints you need some small rocks and sticks and cotton balls your objectives a this week and you want to we're going to be learning weather terms colors cutting skills tracing memory verse and extended activities cut more draw more lines activities. you have the playing a board game for color recognition and numbers um so they recommend these different games so I think that will be fun because I haven't really played games with the boys and I think it would be fun to attempt it. Fun or nerve wracking or, you know, make me insane. We'll see. We'll see. So then as you go through here, it starts with weather. This is part where you'll read it out loud. Then it reads the Bible. Um, review of colors and a rainbow. You have your Bible verse, uh, more Bible verse. And then it gives you some hand motions to learn the verse. So again, the yellow blocks are what you're reading aloud to your child. And then it has some um, little rhymes for you to learn them from learn new vocabulary. So this is all in lesson one. Um, lesson one, day one. So as you go through lesson one, it has three days. So, you know, there's other stuff in lesson day one. Day two, you're going to learn cutting and how to hold scissors. So I'll have to get some scissors for them. Tells you how they should hold the pen. Uh, not the pen. Scissors. Couldn't remember what they were called for a second. And then they give you this to cut, as well as a plate pen. give you a coloring page, and you paste the waves that you cut out here. Um, you'll be pasting those onto Noah's Ark. Um, I'm surprised they didn't do a rainbow for that as well. But maybe you can just draw one for your kids or whatever. It doesn't even matter. Um, 
day two, there's some tracing. So this is a little more advanced um, than for Caius, but we will see how he does with it. And then you have alligator, alligator, and you're supposed to point to the first letter as you read this. Capital A, lowercase a, um, so they recognize it. Uh, day three is Joseph's coat. And the account of Joseph for Bible time. Rhyme time. And I'm still looking at capital A, capital lowercase a. Uh, then you have another way to put another space to trace for them. Okay, so that's basically this book. Three days up for one lesson. And they have other little things. You're going to be matching, the learning about weather. There's poems, coloring sheets, tasting, goldfish, food recipes. So there's a lot of good information in here. So it'll be great. And we'll see. You know, we'll, um, I'm planning to make it more of a longer stretch than 170 days. So there's 30, what did I say? 30 six weeks times three what is that 108 days and really the year is 170 so depending on uh, like a normal school year is 170 days so you have a lot of wiggle room in here um, that is if every week has only three lessons let's yep they're all going to be about three days per week so that's good to know that you have a little wiggle room, if I did my math correctly. Um, here, I can't remember if I showed you the teacher resources. You have, um, it shows you how to tell them to write the letters. So for A, you go slant up, slant down, across the middle. And then you have your mini books. I'm pretty sure I showed this already, but I wanted to come back to it one last time and show it all the letters that comes with it and then you have this chart for practice and you have emotions you have weather uh, chart and then you have these little flashcards J is for jet M is for monkey and that is simply K so it is more advanced than preschool but I don't think that it's too advanced we will see how the year progresses with that one so that is the first book then we have foundations phonics my plan was to do this mainly with Gabe um, it has a similar I might be um, if it gets too overwhelming with but doing both of these I might you know save this for a later time but you have weekly lessons, worksheets, activities, and supply lists in this book. It has a similar, like, you're going to do 20 to 30 minutes per lesson, three to five times a week. There's worksheets designed for kindergartners or first graders in a half-year course. So maybe that's why that was only 108 uh, days, so that you could do, you know, a, a second one. Let's see how many lessons are in, in here. This has sight words in it. Some cutting practices, reading assessments. Um, here's your material list for every week. It has different things that you'll need. Toys, child book or magazine, paper crowns, washi or printer, painter's tape. It has some helpful hints on this page. Review the reading and writing indicators to access your child before you start this. Um, get the stuff you need on this page, 11 and 12 that I just showed you. I have some books that interest your child. Leave them in places where he could, she can read them if you're not reading them to them. You want to um, enhance your learning process, add some extra fun. You're in control of what activities you choose to do. There's a progress chart on page 17. Um, learning to read and write are important, and you don't, you do not want to make this torturous because it's such a critical skill for everyday life that if your child is just not ready, do not force them. Wait until later. Um, this is a five-day program. Um, there are only nine weeks, so you could break this up to be three, so that's two times nine is 18. Um, 18 extra days that you divide up by three would be six extra weeks, nine, 10, 11. So 15, you can do this in 15 weeks if you did three, three, lesson, or three days per lesson. 
So if you wanted to break this up more, which I think I will do because I have never been able to keep to a five-day schedule at this young of an age. It's, it's just they're too young. They're not even in technically kindergarten yet. So we will slow that down. There's no rush on this. Um, and that's what I will be planning in my next video is like how many days go where. So here's a progress chart. You can um, check off when they've completed that lesson and um, how they're doing with that. You're going to review the letters, see how well they know them, choose some examples, and how, point to the uppercase, the lowercase, and then you can always come back and, you know, review that with your child. So week one, lesson one, N is for nothing. This is a lot of, um, you know, you're going to be reading this. It doesn't have the same color coding that the other book has, so that's kind of a negative, but it's definitely for older children. But I love how it incorporates the Bible into learning letters because I hadn't seen that quite yet. So in is for nothing, God, in the beginning there was nothing, and then not even a bit. So you'll point, emphasize all the ends here that are bolded. And here's your activity sheet. There's some, um, some here. And then it has some bonus activities. This is a lot more reading and focus. So. You don't have to do it in a single sitting. That is important to remember. You can come back to it. It's a lot for a child to sit there and listen to you go through it. So week one, lesson two, you're going to learn D. And here's practice for them writing it. And you circle the things that have the end sound down here. So this is a lot more advanced than, um, you know, with the, the Simply K. This is definitely like a ladder book. So that is foundations. Let's see what resources are. You have a book reading list and you have um, practice. Oh, look at this. All books are listed by master books. Please select books that match your reading level. So you can get some of these books for your okay. children. Let's liven this up just a little bit because I almost put myself to sleep going through that book. Not that I'm not excited about it, but it's not as bright as col and colorful as Simply K. So, also, I'm a mom. I had to get a Dr. Pepper. The tea wasn't cutting it. Okay. So here's the math. This is the last book that I got for them. I have not done any math. You know, they know their numbers some, but I did not focus on it at all. Um at all last year. So we will see what is going on here. You're going to do 30 minutes, five days a week. You got puzzles, answer keys in the back, worksheets for each lesson or section, and it's designed for kindergarten in a one-year course. You're going to learn count zero through ten, understand one-to-one -one correspondence up to ten. You get weight and measurements through playing and cooking. My boys love to help me cook. It drives me nuts because it's so slow, but they love to cook. So this is going to be great. I will definitely be utilizing that and hopefully that will make learning these things a lot more fun. Um, so you can compartmentalize your subjects. Uh, so in real life, this is a really great read and it can explain um, like how to teach it as something not just like, okay, math is math, like, you know, find the X. This helps you incorporate it into everyday life. Um, so definitely excited to be doing this you get a suggested weekly schedule enclosed easy to manage lessons guide reading worksheets all assessments okay here's your material list for each lesson board game you can use the same board game that you used in the simply k one it was recommending paint i spy board game so this one looks like a lot of fun um, as you get on you'll need dice blocks jump rope Perfect. Again, this is a five day, one, nine weeks. So you have nine weeks, nine weeks, and the other one's 36 weeks. So this is a great supplement. Um, you're gonna learn calendar com uh, concepts in this in this book, which will be great. I'm so excited about this time. Math is not subjective. Um, usually it's black and white, but in this course you'll learn some, some subjective stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, you have a due date, you can go in here and fill out when you're going to do that. And if you do it in pencil, you can always come back and erase it. Five days a week for nine weeks. Um, oh, this one has a second semester. Okay, so this is a two semester nine weeks. So if you have four semesters in your, usually there's typically four semesters in the school year. 
So you can divide each. Um... Oh, it already did that. Okay, so this is going to be pretty intense. Five days, nine week. And then here's your first semester, second quarter for nine weeks. So it has a complete year of five days in here. So we might we might be slowing this down into two. We'll see how fast we're doing this. But this one's going to be a heavy pace. Let me see back in this phonics one if it's like that. I'm pretty sure it was only a nine week thing. But let's see. Let's see. Material is. Okay, first semester, first quarter. Progress chart. Yeah, see, this is only one nine week thing. Let me see. let me just double check. No, okay, it's two two nine weeks. So it's half a year. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I'm glad I we looked at that. So that is half a year. This is a full year. It has two semesters, five days a week, and this has. I'm sorry, this has two quarters five days a week, and this has four quarters, nine nine weeks each. So um, the math will be full year, and you can split up the phonics into half time, basically. Uh, these lessons don't look like when you're looking at them day one. You read this to the children, so it's story learning. And then um, on your calendar here, let's see. Complete the calendar and review on the back of the calendar. So here you can, it's referring you back to this, this page up here. Just looking. Where did it go? Where did it go? It's here somewhere. Okay, calendar concepts. This is what it's referring to down here. And here's your application. Um, full circle. You can only see half. Critical thinking, draw lines, trace it with your finger. This is a straight line, count the line one. Okay, so this doesn't look too, and then here's day two. So it's only two sheets. That shouldn't be too bad. I, I just feel like, okay, it looks like it's a front and a back for a day. Let's see. It doesn't feel so overwhelming when you say it that way. Looking at the calendar, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's no way we'll, we'll get through this. So day six, one, day seven, one, day eight is two. Day nine is two. So it's one to two pages per day. That's not too bad. That seems like we're going to be able to maybe get through it. <laughs> Who am I? I'm tall with a long neck. Who am I? So you can ask these questions and see how they do with understanding that there's good critical thinking, pattern skills, recipes for cooking, taco soup. Yeah, this will be great. You'll just need to look at your days for the week so you can plan like, oh, if you were going to cook taco soup that, that week with them, what, um, you don't want to cook something else or do it. Because I plan to do this after nap time with them. Um, or I might have to do it in the morning. My plan is after nap time, and if I've already had lunch with them, then that's not going to make sense to do it after nap time. Or we might make that for dinner. Just something to think about. So I'm just flipping through this to see kind of an idea of what it looks like. Trace and color the pumpkin. Count the pumpkins. Yeah, so this is math, getting ready for bed. I love that it, the pictures and the art in here just are very kid friendly and it looks like it's gonna be um, a good, like engaging book because I don't want it to be something that, you know, they get bored with and I have to keep trying to draw their attention back to the page. So, this is going to be great. Yeah, so bored now. I'm tired. Sorry for the yawn. I hope you're not yawning. You probably turned it off by now if you're yawning. But that is Master Books. <laughs> um, the collection that I'm doing with my children this year. Um, this is the kindergarten set, level K's. So, this is a half year. Um, they probably recommend this for like the latter of your kindergarten school year. So we will see. I'm definitely going to be doing this one with both my boys. This one is only for Gabe, and I might even wait till the spring semester, depending on how he responds to the lessons. And then I'll be incorporating the math with both of them because it doesn't. I mean, it does seem like some of the lessons are a little bit older for them, but um, you know, starting them off, we can always review next year since I've started early. There's nothing that is, or I can stop if it's just too much. We will see. But thank you. For watching. Thank you for watching. If you made it through that, you are a trooper because I almost was like, okay, I'm done with this. But then I was thinking if I was watching it, I would want to see more of the pages 
and get a better idea of what's actually in these books. Um, so I really, did I show you the end of the math book? Let's see if there's any of those resource pages. Um, so it all, it goes to all the way to day 80 and then it has some daily, your daily calendar. Um, some shape practice. Let's see what else. Number practice sheet of tracing. So, yes, and then some puzzle solutions and calendar activities. So, um, I am super excited to get started with my kids, and I will be doing a plan with me session, basically where I am taking the lesson plans that are already in the book and moving it over to my planner. So, I'm super excited. I am going to, this one only goes to December, so... I don't know if I'm going to use this or get another planner before I get that going, but I will be doing that soon before I start school with the boys. Uh, August is upon us and the year has gone by so fast. So thanks for joining me and I hope you will join me for the planning session. I'll see you next time.